Hey YouTube, George Smith here back with another LEGO Star Wars 2015 Winter Set Build and Review. And today I am doing the last of the battle packs, unfortunately, and that is the Genosius Troopers. Set number 75089, ages 6 to 12, comes with 105 pieces, actually one less than the Senate Commandos, um, and retails for £12 or $13. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say this is one of my favourite battle packs of this line, I mean, although saying that, it's not really saying much. Uh, as some of you may know, the Stormtroopers battle pack is my favourite, although I guess I would call this second. I, yeah, I'd have to call this second. I mean, the Senate Commanders was absolutely nothing special, and the Shadow Troopers were kind of eh. So I would say this is my second favourite battle pack, just because I'm a Clone Wars fan. But of course, the, um, tro the Stormtroopers are my first. But this isn't really a battle pack, battle pack either. It does very much remind me of the Utapod Troopers battle pack. The figures are exactly the same. The printing is exactly the same as the, G uh, the Sheik Troopers, other than the fact it's a different colour. And the Walker reminds me very much of the 2009 battle pack. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, that's basically it. Just over overview talking of it. If you're building Genosha's Mock, this is of course an amazing battle pack for that. I can't really think of any battle packs better, to be honest with you. Um, but there you go. And really, I think this is just a sign showing that, you know, the Clone Wars is coming to an end. I mean, all like the Clone Wars sets, because I think they're just trying to remake sets they haven't already, you know. Um, and to be honest with you, this would have been very, very much better in turn 10, maybe turn 9, back when like season 2 came out. I think it was turn 10. Um, you know, and you had all those different things, and yeah, and, and like Waxer and Boil and the Phase 1 Troopers in this Juno Troop camo. That would have been amazing. But these, you know, the huge part troopers, like the airborne trooper and the phase two trooper, they just don't, uh, to me, they just don't look quite right. But anyway, that's just my first of all opinion. Let's just go into the set right now. <laughs> So I'm back. Uh, pretty standard build, nothing too special. It was about the same length as the Coruscant um, uh, battle pack, about 10 minutes, you know, pretty standard. And so, uh, yeah, really, it's, it's a pretty cool set. What I'd expect, really, the set itself is, I guess, kind of flimsy. Very much reminds me of the 2009 battle pack. I will be comparing those later on. But, um, yeah, so really, if you took the Kashyyyk battle pack printing, if you got the Utapod Trooper um, Troopers, <laughs> and you put the turn 9 battle packs walker and stuck all on Genosis, this is what you'd get. Really, that's what basically this is. And I will, of course, be comparing it to the Kashyyyk Drew battle pack figure later on. But anyway, so yeah, uh, let's just go now and start with the minifigures. Alright, so starting off, we have the first trooper, which is the phase 2 Genosis trooper. Yeah, some people have been saying this isn't canon, because we only ever saw, obviously, the Genosis Troopers in Phase 1. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not canon, I mean, just because you haven't seen something, you know, the Clone Wars... The reason the Clone Wars really existed, like the TV show, was because you didn't, you couldn't see everything that happened in the Clone Wars just from the films. And even with the Clone Wars TV show, you obviously didn't see every side of the war, you know, so... Obviously, I assume that once the Clone Troopers went to Phase 2 armor, when they need to go back to, um, to Genosis at some point, I mean, obviously we didn't see them, but when they needed to... They would have had to camo their armor, so I'm not going to say this isn't canon. I'm I'm, I'm going to say that, you know, they probably did have this sort of armor just because we never saw it. But even so, it does look kind of weird. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so this is basically an exact replica of the Kashyyyk trooper you see here, like printing wise, except of course in the Geonosis colors. 
So, there you go. I mean, of course, this one has like that blast, which I'm not too happy about, but whatever. But yeah, so that's basically what it is. There's nothing, no real distance other than that. I mean, you know, it's got the sort of reddish brown, sandy type, you know, colour. Sort of sickly colour, really. <laughs> But, um, yeah, the printing, of course, is still very nice. I'm doing it wrong. You know, the printing is very, very detailed. I am loving this printing. But I think it looked considerably better on the Kashyyyk tubers, that camo and all that stuff. This, um, I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it. But something about it just makes it look a bit odd. I guess it was phase one. If we saw the ARF troopers and all that, you know, with it in the Clone Wars, it would have looked better on them. I would have preferred it back then. And really, this is the battle pack which I would have preferred back in 2010. That would have been a great, great battle pack back then. But um, it's still a good battle pack now. Obviously, if you're doing a Genosis mock, then this is a very, very good um, set to have. But uh, yeah, really, I mean, there's not too special, as I said. The head is that of a normal clone trooper. They do have, there are two different heads in this set. The other one belongs to the airborne troopers. But it looks pretty cool. Yeah, nothing too special. Very nice minifigure. I, I guess I'm glad at some point we did get them, really. That's that's what I most want, you know, because a lot of people haven't asked for some sort of Genosis Trooper. Because, you know, Genosis is a big set in, um, or a big mock in Star Wars, you know. It's a big planet, so, you know, a lot of people are doing mocks on them. So, of course, it's good to finally have some sort of Genosis Trooper. Rather than just have to stick normal white clone troopers in there. So, yeah, that's good. It's better than nothing. But I guess it would been better if we had this years ago. And if we had, like, half troopers and phase one troopers. Rather than these phase two ones. But, as I said, it is better than nothing. So that is it then. Let's just go on to the different minifigure in the set. Which is the um, airborne trooper. Alright, so you do, you do get two different minifigures within the set. You get the normal phase two trooper. And you get airborne troopers. Similar to the youth bar trooper out of pack. Um... So, yeah, really, <laughs> the leg printing on each of them, by the way, on each four of them, is exactly the same. There's no difference in leg printing. It's the torso printing and the helmet, though, that are slightly different. Which is pretty cool. But, yeah, basically, it's exactly the same as the youth part airborne tuber, except for the fact the printing is the same as the Kashyyyk tubers, and the, um, like, obviously, it's in the Genosis colours. Very self explanatory, pretty nice. The head is different in the way that it's got that normal expression rather than just this trooper expression. We saw this also in the Senate Commander Battle Pack where the com the captain had the normal expression. But pretty cool I guess. I prefer the uh, airborne troopers from like 212 or whatever that battle pack was, the Utapar troopers, because it, this, I think they're more useful in general stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if the Utapar troopers, uh, oh sorry, the, uh, I need to get my words straight. I'm not sure if the um, Airborne Troopers ever had this type of armor. I know that probably they did have a phase two, but I'm not sure if the these type of troopers ever did have them. You know, it may have just been the ARF troopers. ARF troopers seem more equipped for Genosis. So I'd much rather we had the ARF troopers. We haven't had the ARF troopers since like 2012 or something. So yeah, I, I would very much rather have the ARF troopers in this color and sort of that. And of course, there was a lot of speculation before you got images of these sets. Um, there was a speculation that we'd get like those special like horn or sort of, um, fire trooper things. I'm not sure what they're called. Kaidi Mundi Squadron, you know, that we saw in season two. So yeah, they were very, very nice. I really wish we got those. Some new clone troopers would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, but as I said, it's, it's nice to get, I guess, two different types of trooper for Genosis. But um, yeah, as I said, I guess I would rather have one like. For the entire thing, like I mean, um, the phase one troopers. I'm I'm mumbling my words today, but well, but yeah, that's basically then the troopers. Nothing too special there. Um, pretty cool, I guess. Not really. Well, I guess they are worth getting the set really, but I mean, they could have been improved, but nonetheless, still very very cool. At least we've got some sort of genesis troopers now, rather than absolutely nothing, rather than having to use the white clone troopers that stand out so much in genesis. But uh, yeah, that's it. The troopers, and let's go on to the set itself. So moving on to the transport itself then, the um, walker of sorts. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool really, what you get what you think. Uh, this by the way is not the knob, I thought that originally this was the knob where you turn it and they come out. I thought it was a kind of um, cool technic system if that did work, like how it would go around, and, yeah, but no, no, that's not. Actually you turn this and it flicks around, I, I've showed you before but I will show you later. So up here you have a couple of pins where you put a couple of weapons. This is a two-seated thing, similar to turn nine battle pack. 
to put them both in there. You can put them in either way. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to point. But you can put them in either way. As in, you can have one facing backwards or one facing forwards. On the box, it shows one of them facing backwards, but it does work either way. Funny enough, in turn 9 one, they both face forwards, but whatever. Alright, so, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty small thing. Nothing too special. The feet, there's no real features. I mean, this does bend down, but yeah, and these do fold out. If you really want to, you can do that. But it's not really meant to, it's just sort of there. Um, but yeah, right, you compare it then to the 2009 one. You see, long ways, this one is a little longer. Because it's got the cannon and all that stuff. And this one, the trooper in the back was elevated more. So you have to excuse all the dust on this, obviously this from time 9. So yeah. But um, the legs are also extremely similar in many ways. See here. Very nice. Uh, you got this thing on the side, although of course this one does not have a sticker. This one did, which was kind of weird at the time. It's like you know why was it a sticker? But um, yeah, and instead of this thing on the front, you've got that. So yeah, but um, that's basically it. Let <laughs> me just say I will just show you then the only feature of this set. Oops, is where you simply turn this and these come flying out. We're going to try and do this rapid fire. I think this is actually the last set of this entire line where we get this. So we try to do it really quick. Okay, so, ready? And. Oh, fail. Fail. Whatever. <laughs> I've lost them all. But who cares? Yeah, that's why you get a ton more. Actually, you don't. Actually, no, I think you do. I think I've lost the spare pieces now. But um, I think you do get a fair amount more, as you'd expect. But, um, yeah, if you don't know how it works, you simply spin it and it. Doesn't that you can work out how it works, but um, yeah, really, you've got some pretty nice pieces. Like the colours are pretty nice, I guess. It's, you know, good for genosis kind of stuff. But really, you're only going to get this set for the minifigures. The set is more just kind of there. I strongly doubt people are going to really use this in in um, mocks and things because not what well, I don't think it's canon. Well, if it is canon, it really doesn't look much like Star Wars, especially with this massive can on the front. You know, it just looks a bit. Weird, you know, kind of top heavy, like kind of trudge along like that. So, yeah, but um, that's it, really. There's nothing really much more but to say about this set. It's a decent set, you know, it's not a fair battle pack, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, of course, as I said, the main part is the figures, but that's the really the main part of every battle pack, it should be. So, there, um, it's a pretty nice little build. I guess I would prefer something more uh, actual cannon, probably like an actual ATRT, like similar to the ones we got in the 210 clone turbo tank, except perhaps in the Genosha's colours. That would have been really, really cool. But I guess I don't mind this one either. It's 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 good for what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the end of the set. Let's just go on to the instructions box and include the review. Alright, so on to the instructions. The instruction manual is alright. <laughs> as you expect, now as I said in the last review, I am annoyed why they feel they need to constantly bend the instructions. You can easily put the instructions in like that, it fits. I, you don't have to bend it. But whatever, uh, so there's a one on the back. Got this. Pretty cool, I guess. As I said, you can put the guns in those clips. Go with this, that's the only features. That's the infantry. More infantry. You get 20 of these studs, so. Um, but yeah, that is the set. 20 pages of build, same as the Coruscant Police, whatever. No, not Police Gunship, um, whatever it's called, I don't know. But um, yeah, the helmets look kind of weird on the instruction manual, but um, yes. That's basically the instruction manual, nothing too special there, what you'd expect. This now just go onto the box and include the review. Onto the box, and the box is pretty decent. You have to excuse, by the way, it's bent there. Just because you have to preach that this is one of the last reviews I'm doing, and it's spent a lot of time in, under other sets. <laughs> but, um, whatever. So, here you have the um, information. In the background, you've probably got Geonosis, that's what I would say the planet is. Got Disney there. It's not Star Wars Rebels, so of course it doesn't say Star Wars Rebels. Got this kind of stuff. Pretty nice. On the top, you've got the Airborne Geonosis Air. Uh, sorry, no, it doesn't say Airborne Trooper, it just says Geonosis Clone Trooper, actually. So, apparently that's what it is. Um, yeah. We've got the standard box type things. What you'd expect, really. Nothing too special. As I said, 
you know, um, oh, you can actually see there, you can actually get down apparently on like this little ledge, that's pretty cool, you know, him climb down there, just, just a little thing I added, <laughs> but, um, so as is in the last review, I kind of wish we had the dimensions of the set, but of course the battle packs are not much an issue because they're really small anyway, but even so. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the box, nothing too special here, what you, the standard thing you'd get. Um, but yeah, that is it then for the set. Let's just go now and conclude this review. Alright, so, uh, yeah, here we are with the conclusion of this set, the Geonosis Trooper set number 75089. It is a decent set, and as Geonosis sets go, I mean, we've only really had, like, actual proper Geonosis ones, as in with the Geonosis people, like the, um, Cannon and the Starfighter. So, finally, you have a Geonosis set that's not actually, doesn't actually have Geonosis in it. That may sound kind of odd, but, um, you know, we've got like a proper Clone Wars version of Geonosis, because of course the Geonosis was a very large part of Clone Wars. It's, that's where the Clone Wars really started. So, you know, it's, started, it's kind of debatable where it started, but we won't go into that. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the review or found it helpful, please do give it a like down below, show me which reviews you like, which ones you don't, and all that. Um, and of course, leave any comments or questions down below. I'm doing a Q&A this weekend, and if you leave down a good question, then I may very well answer it. Obviously, give you a shout out. And please subscribe to my channel because we just passed 1,000 subscribers, and I hope to get to 2,000 um, by the end of the year. So, you know, um, yeah. Thank you then for watching this review. I mean, it is a good set. I would pick up. I, I'm going to pick up a few more. Well, maybe not a few more. Maybe I'm going to pick up like three of these, you know. Uh, just for more, because it, it would be very helpful for a Genosis mock and Genosis type things. It is, it is definitely the most helpful thing around, absolutely. However, it's not too much helpful for anything else. So once you've done a Genosis mock or stop motion, then really, you can more or less put these things to bed, because you won't really need them again. Um, but nonetheless, they are pretty cool. I guess that when they go out of stock, they probably will go up in retail price, because I doubt they're going to be remaking stuff like this for specific planets. But even so, I do recommend picking up a few of these. It's not my best battle pack, as I said. I like the uh, Storm's battle pack, but it's a pretty good second. And it, yeah, it would, I'd say it would, yeah, it might be my top 10 battle packs, but who knows. But anyway, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching this review. If you, um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my last 2015 review, which will be Edge for Speeder Bike. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye, troops.